Hello, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Tutorials. You're watching Mainframe Practical Tutorials. So, today in this video, I would like to share you one of the important concept under practicals, which is conditional statements. So, today in this video, I would like to talk about the if statement. So, and its importance. As you all know, if is very very important whatever the program you code right so if something happens what action I need to take if something fails what action I need to take so in the same way if I get married what happens to me if I'm not get married or uh, it in, it in, within this age so what happens so I mean there will we will be getting is a couple of questions like if 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 something not happening some bad some good what action I do something bad what action I need to take so so you can understand how uh, importance the if is if something earth earthquakes occurs in 2020 so what is the action we need to take the researchers the scientists they're trying to do something so everywhere if is usable so let's go ahead and see in this in the same way in COBOL program so I'm trying to show you uh, how do we use this if condition with COBOL program so let's go ahead and see now you're connected to the mainframe terminal so you're into the COBOL tutorials sorry uh, so this is the COBOL program so make sure that you code everything in a specific column area uh, in column A and column B for this so it, this is here is identification division program ID then Archer then you give a description so that everyone can understand it and then problem by the environment division data division and the working storage section so as I said in my earlier videos so make sure to code always the variables with WS hyphen if you are coding any variables in working storage section okay so I have to the two variables so since I wanted to determine like uh, if age is greater than 19 you're, you are eligible for married or if age is less than or greater than 21 I mean difference between male and female so in the India we have like if their age is greater than 19 so they are eligible for marriage greater than 20 if he's a male so he's eligible for marriage so I mean so f assuming that there might be some changes but let's, let us assume so gender so it, it's it's re it's just an example I'm showing here. So uh, it's sex, age, and the uh, value spaces. By default, I'm giving it as value spaces and default value as zeros. So now let's uh, I'm trying to give you in a console. I'm in mean terminal output command that is uh, display enter your gender uh, accept. Uh, you need to accept your age. I mean sex whether it is a male or female M or F you need to enter in the same way enter your age uh, accept age then you're trying to give a validation so over here here's the actual logic starts so if variable x x equal to f and age is greater than or equal to 19 then display you are eligible for marriage so this is the state for female so in the same way if you are a male so and if age is greater than or equal to 21 then you are eligible for marriage right or else you are not eligible for marriage you are a small kitty or you are less than 18 or some th some other thing okay uh, so display you are eligible for marriage or else display you are not eligible for marriage so in this way I'm going to in this way uh, and if and uh, you have to make sure all the and ifs are closed in same way so if a uh, statement then you have else then you have if then you have else first you need to close this and if and again you have to close this and if so make sure how many if you so you have the same number of and if should be there and else if so in this way you have written your COBOL program which using if condition then end of the program then stop run so save this if you I have in view mode so no problem so I'm trying to compile the program just as run it so to update so slip uh, point to your if and load lib if then submit okay okay yes compile action has been successfully completed so now the next step is to run your program so how do you do that just 
update if program done so in your program you gave a terminal input and output commands right so what are the terminal input command just check it uh, this is sex and next is h so since I am having a terminal input command so I need to use this indeed star over here right so that q and the 2 I'm trying to enter it as mail okay and age or something 28 okay uh, adds it's you can give it at any age at all 32 okay so just submit it we'll try to check both the conditions if both the conditions are working or not so I'll go and spool now here I entered a uh, gender as male and uh, age as 32 okay let's see what happens okay yes enter your age MRF and enter your age so you are eligible for marriage so since I entered my age as they so you are eligible for marriage and end of the program so he says you are eligible for marriage right so if you want to do more effectually program so whatever you are doing it uh, okay so try to repeat this sorry or else you can copy after gender is you can say gender is give space okay so we I'm trying to display the gender over here whatever the value you have displayed and in the same way you have entering age so age is I'm trying to display age is Okay. Then W S hyphen H. Okay. In the same way, what I'm trying to do is uh, if it is age is greater than 19. Okay. Display. Okay. In the same way. So it will try to compile it again. Maybe I should have been entered in edit mode. That should have been better. Okay. Oh, Alex, paste it. Okay, now I have everything. Okay, now I'll go to compilation. Just compile it. Enter. Enter. Okay, now I'll go to run. So, I'll enter it as now. I'll change something here. 25. Mail. Enter. It ran. Let's go here. Enter. Let's check the output. See, uh, gender is male. Enter your gender M or F. So you have entered M. So it will display the same. And enter your age. So age is 25. If age is 25, you are eligible for marriage since your age is greater than that thing, right? Uh, greater than 19 what we call it 21 so if age m and greater than 21 so uh, you will be you are eligible for getting married so I hope you will be soon getting married okay let's run another thing let's try to do different things why not with female so let's change the condition female uh, if the female is watching with a f 18 so what will say Let's run it and see what happens. So let's go and see. Q and check it. Yes. Age is 18. You are F and you are eligible for marriage. How can it be? If age is something went wrong, right? So if age is equal to 18, then I think we coded if age is greater than 19 then only eligible right 
so here white is displaying you are eligible for marriage so let's go ahead and see and look into our program so eight is greater than or equal to 19 then only you are eligible for marriage or else you are not eligible for marriage right so if M and WS age is greater than 21 so you are eligible for marriage you are not eligible for marriage it should display like you are not eligible for marriage right so let's go and see age is 18 you are eligible for marriage age is 18 F WS age greater than equal to 19 uh, Something went wrong. Let's try to run it again. Okay. Zero five. Oh, what is the condition I gave here? Greater than or equal to right. So okay, I thought I gave uh, less than or equal to. So anyhow. Let's see for this what happens here. You are eligible <laughs> even though the age is 5. How can you be eligible? So there might be some comparison problem. Age is greater than or equal to... <laughs> Everything is going there. Greater than or equal to 21. So let's have this. Compile it. Compile, but I compile compilation compilation zero. So that's not the problem. We have entered a numeric, right? So the numeric value. Oh, that's the problem. So here, you're writing it as uh, zero three right it is accepting three bytes over there okay we'll do one thing let's try to enter it again okay let's try to enter it as uh, zero zero five and then submit let's see what happens enter okay enter c See, you are not eligible for marriage. That is how. <laughs> See, it depends on the variable declarations you have declared. See, so that's the reason. What is doing is it is showing some garbage value, or it's pa uh, it uh, adding a zero. If it is not adding a zero, it is considering it as a two-digit number, and it is giving some other number. So be cautious, like uh, uh, be specific to the number whatever you are giving over here, so that it works fine. So let's do another things. Uh, let's practice more one more thing so why not we'll try with 20 we will make female as 19 so that she's eligible for marriage now okay okay now she should get married she should get married wow ah, yes now she's going to get married so stay and worry don't worry we'll try one more thing uh, we will we'll check for the condition for the marriage and yes we are saying that Mary's if man is above more than 21 then he's eligible for marriage right so we'll make him get married to a um, female who is ages 19 okay go here let's go to this out yes you're eligible for marriage so this is how uh, if uh, if statement works so, so we got many errors during comp uh, during running we didn't get we didn't get any errors during compilation problem compilation it ran good but during execution or during running the program so we we came across with problem problem which is good so now why I'm saying is so while you're practicing if you get any error this kind of things so you can do you can do best practice like the way I did so thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video kindly be subscribe or share on my youtube channel so that 
you don't miss any updates whatever or whatever I be posting on my YouTube channel so thank you so much for watching have a great and pleasureful day